Hey everybody, I'm Robert the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today it is what's sold on eBay for the week of 18th, uh, March 18th through the 24th. So hopefully everybody's having a great day. I know I am. Um, not sure if you heard the news. Well, probably have. If you have, if you've been living on a rock and you haven't heard the news, uh, Mercari dropped a bombshell today. They are lowering seller fees to zero percent. So that is sweet across the board. Uh, buyers will be paying a, like a buyer's premium to buy something on the platform, but I don't see that really affecting anything, but we will see. Um, what else is there? Oh, the big thing, I, I, which I don't understand, is that uh, people are having a heart attack over this $2 fee f to withdraw your money. So, um, if you were to make $10,000 on Mercari, uh, 10% the fees would be a thousand dollars so you're saying that to withdraw that you rather give Macari ten thousand dollars or pay two dollars to get your money so I'm not understanding what the big deal of this is but it's a big thing in Facebook and Instagram and all this stuff so I mean if you sold a $20 item at uh, the normal 10% of Mercari, you're still paying them $2 to get your money out. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, the other big thing of Mercari is that they're actually um, taking or allowing all returns, but it's only a 72-hour period, so I don't see that being a big thing at all. Especially for the people that do um, free returns on eBay. I mean, that's 30 days. That's utterly ridiculous but people do that all the time but anyways uh so that's the big update uh let's get into what's sold enough jibber jabber right <laughs> all right uh report for march 18th through the 24th my total sales are one thousand eight hundred and seventy three dollars and thirteen cents which was a big drop from last week uh because i haven't been listing i've been doing fiddle fiddle farting around with my apartment a lot you can see my hands i was staining cupboards all day today um so yeah <laughs> i've been been pretty busy with the apartment so kind of neglecting ebay and i've been uh doing a lot of mercari today um oh i didn't tell you there is another there's an import tool on mercari um you can actually import all your uh listings from ebay to mercari uh with a click of a with the click of the button so you don't even need resale kit or list perfectly or anything else like that one click and your listings are over on Mercari so yeah if you want to give it a shot or if you're don't want to pay two dollars for some reason oh no uh, don't give it a shot <laughs> uh, anyways uh, selling costs of five hundred two dollars and forty nine cents and uh, net sales of this week of one thousand two hundred forty three dollars and ninety four cents so Hopefully, um, I'm going to be cross-listing to Mercari. Uh, we'll see if my list, my money starts going up, if buyers go away, or whatever. <laughs> and I have a lot of things to list of eBay, of course. All right, uh, quantity sold of 55 and my average sale price of $34.06. All right, let's get into the plush, and then, of course, I'll hit all the other stuff at the end. Uh, Douglas Cuddle Toys. Uh, this is a gray dolphin from Four Seasons. I uh, listed this a long time ago. It's, you can see it's not very well wanted because of the Four Seasons Resort on its belly, but uh, someone finally wanted it. <laughs> it's been on uh, eBay for probably, I don't know, five, six years. It's been there a while. Uh, it finally sold for $16.99. Reindeer, spinning snow globe. Uh, this one lights up. Um, yeah, it lights up. <laughs> and his mouth moves and he sings uh, Winter Wonderland. So it's one of the ones where I put batteries in and um, tested it a while back. What, it's been about three months ago? Um, maybe even longer. It was right before Christmas. So, yeah, four months ago. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it sold for $29.74. Disney Winnie the Pooh, another talking one. Uh, this one sold for $19.54, and he says a whole bunch of different words. Um, 
Too bad I forgot what they were. <laughs> well, all right. Uh, next one. Uh, Squishmallow Fanny of the Purple Owl. This one actually went out of the country. Uh, it sold for $54.69. Cost me $12.99 to ship. So around a $41 profit on this. Minus fees, of course. There's no fees in Mercari's. I wish it would have sold over there now. But <laughs> now uh, it, though, it has still made a good profit on it. Build a bear, pink flamingo uh, with sparkly legs. Uh, this one's been listed for, um, I believe it's like four months. It hasn't been that long. I listed a bunch of birds uh, lately. Um, wanted to get all my birds listed, and I finally did. It sold for twenty dollars and thirty nine cents. Uh, like like I always say, I don't sell my build a bears under twenty dollars. Uh, That's just what build a bears should sell for. There was a lot of two foxes. I just, uh, is it fox or foxes? 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 Fox? Nah, whatever. <laughs> uh, I just listed these, I believe, like last week. Um, this one's really, really soft, like a squishmallow soft feel. And this one just has like a glittery eye. So it's a real cute one. I just put the pair together because I didn't have anything else to put. Um, they were both really low when I checked the comps. Sometimes you just don't want to check the comps because some people sell them for like a buck. And I don't even know how they do it with, with free shipping. But anyways, <laughs> uh, this is a lot of two Animal Adventure and the other one is Dandy. It sold for $21.24. Blue's Clues. This is a Big Hugs Giant Plush. I believe I got these off of Walmart. Walmart was doing a clearance. It was over Walmart. I always get Walmart and Target confused because I buy so much. Um, but yeah, it was a super duper clearance. I believe I paid three, four dollars for them, and I bought a bunch. You can see five sold already, and seven available. So I guess I bought twelve, unless I miscounted. But anyways, uh, this guy sold for thirty-three dollars and ninety-nine cents. Uh, baby stuffies. This is Blaze the Gra the Dragon and Stomper. Uh, these I got off of a website. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Um, but it was a really inexpensive website. Um, got them for a buck a piece, and the pair of them sold for twenty one dollars and twenty four cents. Yeah, I haven't been on that website in a while, so completely forgot the name. I think they sold too. But anyways, uh, next one. This is the Warner Brothers Huckleberry Hound uh, from Cartoon Network. Uh, you can see there he is an old school guy. Really cute. Uh, he sold for $21.24. We have a cow plush black monkey. Uh, cow plush is just a regular brand. Nothing special about cow plush. I don't even think there's like a, a $50 plush that cows come from cow plush. But uh, probably is somewhere. I just got to find it, right? <laughs> uh, you can see there's cow plush right there. I get a bunch of them because I'm close to LA. Um, this guy sold for $19.54. And uh, surprised he actually sold um, because so many monkeys with the long arms come out of China and they're just so mass produced. But hey, um, they still sell, so I still list them. Uh, this is Spark Create Imagine. I believe this is Walmart. Um, I have bought a bunch of these. There were um, different bunnies, different attire. I have girl bunnies with uh, like pink tutus, uh, boy bunnies with these striped. Uh, chonies on them I guess <laughs> and uh, a couple other ones so I bought a bunch of um, them because they were on clearance I believe they were like one or two bucks a piece so they were on super clearance so I got like three trash bags full of these bunnies um, this one sold for $18.69 and I still have about 10 more to, more to go petting zoo with the bright eyes you can see his bright eyes right there there it is <laughs> uh, he's a white fuzzy seal Oh, he's called Bright Eyes too. Um, from the petting zoo, he sold for eighteen dollars and sixty-nine cents, and he wasn't that long. Uh, he's only what eleven inches long, so not a huge seal. Another build a bear. This is um, Marie from the Aristocats. Um, I guess I got that off somewhere because it doesn't say Marie anywhere. Um, but anyways, she sold for twenty-one dollars and twenty-four cents, and she's got shiny paws. I don't see Marie anywhere, but. I know I got it from somewhere. I wouldn't have put it in the listing if it wasn't. So uh, maybe I'm crazy. 
dandy uh, dancing light up uh, his cheeks light up this is a bull from uh, well dandy <laughs> and he's he sings living la vida loca so yeah he dances his cheeks light up he has a little rose so really cute uh, little guy right here uh, hasn't been listed that long well like, like I said all my animated plush were up there um, about four months ago so he hasn't been listed more than four months uh, he sold for twenty-eight dollars and four pennies. Uh, bark bucks, I believe I got these from Walmart for like a buck. They were clearing them out. Uh, these are like dog toys. He crinkles. It's from Stranger Things. Uh, two sold. Uh, I still have eight more and sold for sixteen dollars and ninety-nine cents. Cuddle Barn. This is a dog. He claps his hands and um, sings happy and you know it. And of course the dog claps his hands. And he's got a tongue sticking out at you. <laughs> Here you go. You can see his uh, tongue. He's a funny little dog. Uh, he's got a, a cute little bow tie on him. And he sold for $22.09. I think I said that already. One more, one more plush sold. This is a Peeps 4 inch uh, plush backpack clip don't <laughs> uh, don't get rid of these things uh, this guy's only this tall and he's still sold for fifteen dollars and twenty nine cents I mean if you can you can put two together and actually sell it for um, I, I would list it like twenty five if you don't want to uh, sell this low at fifteen dollars uh, fifteen dollars kind of my lowest that I'll sell an item for or list an item for now um, if it's gonna go for lower than that I will bundle it together but this guy's been up there for uh, probably like six months so he's been there for a little while and glad he sold but yeah don't uh, don't toss away your uh, belt clips because they will sell and some of them do sell for like 25 bucks so it's crazy uh, Russ Berry old woman uh, this one I believe is going to like Singapore, one of those countries out there, or Taiwan. Uh, she actually sold for forty-six dollars and eighty cents, twelve ninety-nine to ship, so around thirty-three dollars minus fees on her. And she has like suction cups and yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. She's a funny, funny old lady. <laughs> Alright, on to the collectibles. The first one, this is a Star Wars R2-D2. I got this from uh, my toy guy. Um, didn't pay too much for him. His box was a little bit damaged, you can see there. Um, cost me, a, I believe it was $10 to ship. So, um, it sold for $84.99. Not too bad for R2-D2. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I got this off a of Whatnot show. I believe I paid like $5 a bag, maybe even less. It was a huge bundle of them. I believe, yeah, like I said, I believe they came out to like five dollars a bag. Um, this is a school bag. It's seventeen by eleven, so it's a pretty big bag, and it sold for twenty-five dollars and forty-nine cents. Star Wars: The Mandalorian Steel LE. It's a limited edition metal paperwork. Again, I got this off of a whatnot show. I believe I paid a hundred for it. I am not positive. It's been a little while because I didn't listen. <laughs> didn't listen too fast. Uh, but yeah, there was a small mark on the bottom right here. So I had to take off a little bit. Or probably would have sold for about 300 But there was a little bit of damage there. So, um, but yeah, still a great buy and a great sale at $263.49 for that guy. There's a lot of great deals on whatnot, so... If you're not buying on whatnot, you're missing out. I'll take the deals for myself. I don't care. <laughs> lock and load flint lock. Um, I got this off of a buyer. I bought a huge stack of these different uh, board games off of them. And it sold for $50.99. Kiss Metal Lunchbox. Again, I got this from my uh, toy guy. Uh, this has the thermos. And it's from Spencer's. Still sealed in original plastic. Um, I just listed this um, maybe like three, four months ago, and it sold for $127.49. Hot 
Hallmark. This is actually another one going out of the country. It is sold for $32.50. I believe it's going to Canada, so the shipping was like $9. So made about 20 what, 24 My math is right? Meh, whatever. <laughs> you do the math. Uh, but yeah, uh, Christmas stuff is still selling. Um, and I'm happy it's getting out of my house. Uh, the two cards that sold today, or uh, this week, uh, sold two $25 turtle cards. Uh, to one buyer, he paid like $52. So those are the sales of the cards this week. The best sales, I should say. A ton of little cards sold for like 10 bucks and under. So, um... Not great on the card front this week, but hey, 50 bucks is 50 bucks for two little pieces of cardboard, right? I mean, who wouldn't take it? Uh, Lord of the Rings, Morgul, Lord, Witch King, Return of the Kings. This guy sold for $59.49. And look at his face. <laughs> who wouldn't buy that face for $59, right? <laughs> Uh, Batman Beyond. I've talked about Batman Beyond in the past. Uh, this is one of the better Batman action figures to find. You can see my little clearance sticker from my toy guy still there, uh, but people don't care. Uh, but anyways, he sold for $59.49 for just one little action figure. Uh, Big Bang Theory is still hot. This is Sheldon Cooper. Uh, this is a limited edition from the convention. You can see uh, Entertainment Earth convention exclusive. He sold for $38.24. And again, I got that off my toy guy. Last but not least, uh, another f item from my toy guy. This is IG88. Uh, he sold for an amazing $84.99. He did have some uh, damage on his box, so I did uh, lower the price. Um, and just glad to get rid of it. <laughs> uh, he probably could have sold for over 100 if he wasn't uh, damaged, or the box wasn't damaged. But hey, you gotta take the good with the bad. Bam damage box, no damage box. So, uh, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new, and don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up. Let me know in the comments if you're going to start listing more on Mercari. I know I am. Um, hopefully. At, at minimum, what's going to happen is this all all this news and stuff that uh, is should be helpful for the platform. They should get a lot more eyes on it. Um, even if it fails uh, to attract more buyers because of the fees, um, it'll get a lot more eyes on it. And hopefully if they change their mind and turn it back um, in a year or so, there's a lot more buyers there. But we'll see. Who knows? Buyers, sellers. Um, Go on, Macari. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.